For breakfast here, I'm having an omelette. There's mini bell peppers and spinach in this. And I'm eating it with sriracha. If you guys hear anything, that's my mom and my brother in the living room. I made like hella omelettes yesterday because this week I'm meal prepping. But I'm meal prepping because I need my diet to be like on par with like my gym goals, you know? I feel like I haven't been eating right for a few months because it's so much work having to eat hella protein. I just want to feel clean and healthy. Eating unhealthy just makes me feel so gross. Today is March 18th or something. My birthday is in about seven days. My birthday is on March 25th. And this past weekend, I had my little birthday party with my family. And so it was really fun. I'll insert some photos here. It was super small, super intimate, and I had such a good time. I can't believe that I am turning 23. That's insane. Like you guys have been watching me since I was like 16. So I'm literally aging and that's so crazy. I'm in my mid twenties. I have to have kids in like less than, I don't even know, like six Six, five years like think about it <laughs> i'm gonna have kids around 30 right that's like seven years and if i want to have kids earlier than that it's earlier than that so my plans for today is to go to the gym because recently i've been back into my gym vibes like i was doing pilates and yoga for a bit because i was getting bored of the gym but thankfully because i did pilates and yoga so much i'm back interested into the gym so today's a back and by day and then after that i have two meetings all right guys ootd i'm wearing this sports bra i got from jewel it's from lululemon and she got it for me for my birthday cute i'm wearing my white aritzia sweatpants as you guys know these are my favorite sweatpants and i wear them in every video my stomach guys i have lost my six pack <laughs> guys i can't even force one like it's gotten to a point where Oh, well, actually, she's a little there, but like compared to the past, like what is happening? So that's why I'm putting my ass back into the gym and yeah, it's time to get the six pack back and try to get my eating right. I don't know, I just missed my six pack. I don't know what to say. Such a crazy day. When I tell you guys that this year is gonna be different, I mean it. Like, I am doing things I have never done before. <sighs> I am feeling good, I'm feeling productive, I'm feeling so motivated. So I have dinner at 7.30 and it is like four right now. So I'm here like, what am I gonna do for like the next three freaking hours? I already did my makeup and what am I gonna do? Get ready? I just sit in my bed for three hours. I gotta think about it. What do I wanna do with my day? What a good life. I am so addicted to taking risks. If you guys are at home, you guys are never feeling anxious or excited. I mean, anxious. Anxious. anxious could be another word for being happy and excited if you think about it like when you're super excited that feeling you have that's anxiousness i think recently i've just been so addicted to this feeling because i know that at the end of the day i'm doing new things and it makes me happy i'm excited because i've never done it before but it's a good thing let me just say something that has really shifted my perspective what makes you happy is based off of perception it's based off of past experiences your definition of happiness that definition 
definition is ever changing if you think about it like imagine you were with your ex-boyfriend you were so happy with him you break up it's like okay what makes me happy because i thought i thought that made me happy no you find a new definition of happy right your favorite sport you could have done it for so long thought you were gonna go pro something happened you're not pro and that used to make you happy now it doesn't so it's like what is gonna make me happy so here i am reminding you guys that what makes you happy can always change and you can always create a new definition of happy what you know now is not everything like you can always create a new what you know for so many years like what i thought was being happy was not it and so right now i am actively creating what's gonna be my new happy your definition of happy now is based off of past experiences but you get to a point where you've done it so many times that it is no longer making you happy it's boring you do it because you think that will make you happy but it doesn't like for me i used to go raving i learned i don't really like it as much as i used to but like that's what happiness is to me right no you're bored of it so that's when you have to create new happiness and for me creating new happiness means trying new things even if you don't know if you're gonna like it because what if you do there's your new happy taking these workout classes pilates yoga i didn't know that shit was gonna make me happy i actually i was so anxious when i first did it that's exactly how it is when you try new things you don't know if you're gonna like it but what if you do there you go you found a new thing that makes you happy and that's what i like to do like i'm constantly on this self-discovery journey where i want to find new things and more things that make me happy because the more i do that the more i discover and learn about myself when you try new things you put yourself at risk to like or not like something but you know how many people don't put themselves in a risk area to discover themselves and they just end up doing the same thing every day for the rest of their lives because they think that what they're doing is happiness <sighs> life is just this ever-ending journey and you should always be trying to discover yourself what you guys think makes you happy now did you know that once upon a time you never did it before and you didn't know that was going to be your happiness right but now you do it all the time because you know it you've tried it what makes you think you can't find other things that make you happy basically what i'm trying to say is i am somebody that is always trying to find new things that make me happy and i hope you guys are doing the same thing take risks don't be a scaredy cat like be brave this is a channel to motivate you guys to step outside of your comfort zone be brave try new things be the highest version of you do you think the highest version of you is a scaredy cat i highly doubt it i decided let's choose my outfit for today so i for sure want to wear a black skirt and some black boots but i gotta figure out which top i really like this top because it's giving y2k i think i'll get really good pictures but i also like this top because i know this would look so good with the black skirt and it's kind of sexy and it's pink and it's cute anyways let's put it on all right guys here is outfit number one um honestly it's really cute but i don't know like something's off i don't know unless my standards are just too high it's still cute right i mean guys this one is way cuter like this outfit is so slay i think i'm really feeling this one but oh my god just look at the back the back is freaking killer that is just crazy yeah i might have to do this one but let me see how it would look if i did like a long skirt and like cute little shoes so um this is not giving what it was supposed to give okay i thought it was gonna look cuter it's cute from the back though but it's because i have a cute back i would say this is a little underwhelming and it's a little too formal right after all of that i think i have decided on this fit this one's more casual but it's still cute and comfy um i'm wearing these slippers that i actually thrifted look at how cute they are i love them i need to put lotion on my legs but i'm wearing this skirt from addicted and it has a string but i tucked it in then we have this like off the shoulder knit top which i actually thrifted this it's so cute i'm also wearing this purse as you guys can tell it's a coach mini it's literally so cute and i thrifted this too so this was thrifted this was thrifted my shoes were thrifted the only thing that wasn't was my skirt like what the heck guys i finally got my hands on a summer fridays lip balm this is the vanilla one so i've never even used this before i actually got this for my birthday but this is so creamy it literally feels like a lip balm which it is but definitely doesn't feel like a lip gloss i really don't like my lashes today so these are the lashes i'm gonna apply i've learned that for instagram i really love wearing like cute ig baddie lashes i mean these are thin but they're long so cute these used to be my daily but for youtube i look cuter with my anime lashes these lashes are perfect 
perfect for Instagram, but they're too overwhelming for YouTube. But then my manga eyelashes, they're perfect for YouTube like daily, but on Instagram, they're super underwhelming for me. So I switch off, but tonight I'm gonna wear my IG baddie lashes. Yeah, I know. Like on this camera, I know my lashes probably look so crazy. But for Instagram, like these lashes are so cute. It's giving brats. Like I love it. Yes, makeup is done. Guys, I decided to change into this instead. <laughs> I literally just showed y'all like how many outfits, but I'm just gonna wear the Skims dress because it's definitely giving, you know, a little more fancier. Like I should look a little cute. The first two outfits were a little bit too much party girl, but this is like birthday dinner right now, something casual because it's not anything fancy anyways. Like it's literally like steak type of food. So nothing crazy. <laughs> exciting because I have never done Pilates with any of my friends before so that should be really fun are we filling this outfit I couldn't choose between the white or the pink top I decided on the white because I thought it looked more clean but I love the pink too like the vibes were vibing but later on like around three or four ish I forgot my mom is going to be giving my hair a little trim and some layers because I feel like I have not gotten a haircut in a while and I am using the Milk Makeup Cloud Glow if you want glowy makeup, definitely try out this product here's the outfit for today, my top is from Halera wearing my black Alpha Elite leggings, literally one of my favorite leggings because they're so good quality and then I'm wearing these leg warmers, I actually think I got these from Amazon my Pilates socks are from Dick Sporting Goods but this is my outfit for today, let me know if you guys like it simple, cute, fresh, you know <sighs> sometimes I want to wear color but recently I've been really loving just wearing like white and black so now we're at Pilates, I'm here with my girlfriend I'm not even kidding guys, today was one of the hardest Pilates classes I've ever done Like I've never actually given up so bad, but like it was so difficult but like in the best way I was feeling the burn, but the burn was so satisfying So I feel really good about this class, like I really made it my money's worth, you know Compared to other classes, I think this class we focus a lot more on like glutes and legs And I was dying This current moment, me speaking to you guys is the next day and my legs legs hurt and my shoulders are so sore mind you guys i do work out at the gym quite often so it's really nice to be able to do a workout that looks so cute but actually makes you feel really good working muscles that typically i can't work out at the gym now we're gonna have some brunch we went to hope's breakfast bar and i got myself this little breakfast sandwich it was really good but tell me why the sandwich was huge i only finished like a fourth of it but other than that it was really delicious i had a really nice cup of coffee so i feel really good so here's your reminder to go out with your friends and get some brunch do something cute honestly it is so good for the soul hello guys i'm back so i'm feeling really good had some coffee pilates was really fun today it was actually the most challenging class i've ever had which is good because you always want to make sure you're getting in a good workout and i feel like every time i go it gets harder and harder so god bless thank god i literally love the girl i go to after that i went to go get some brunch so yeah that was really nice now we're gonna open up a package from beginning boutique number one love beginning boutique they have such cute like good vibes it's 
like summer spring type of clothes honestly they're an australian based brand they're actually the company that sent me to coachella the year i went number one this bag is so cute oh my god this would be such a cute gym bag i need to go get pictures for my birthday because what the fuck this dress is so cute this is the front and then it's like an entire lace dress this is gorgeous oh my god i'm really excited about this one look at this like a square top the dress i mean look at the color the fabric is so soft and then the back is an open back a black dress because you guys know like i said earlier i've been really into black or white i'm really just trying to embrace my scorpio rising if you're into astrology if you present yourself the way your rising is so if like for me i'm a scorpio rising if i present myself the way a scorpio would it just helps you step into your power more take that as advice okay so go and check your birth chart figure out your big three okay truthfully sometimes i get scared of the attention i get when i wear black because it gives me like a very seductive and like sultry like vibe and that scares me sometimes because like i don't know if i want that type of attention but it's like why not step into your power i usually like to dress colorful bright and very approachable and lively and happy but that's like the aries in me and it's good to do this but it's also good sometimes to do this look at that y'all see that it's like this and it's long and the middle part is literally that small because it's an entire like i don't know if you guys can tell but this is a very open back dress so if you wear this like the sides of your stomach will show because it's like cut in we love her time for the last item which is this white dress here we are she's cute if you guys look closely she has sequin 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 i love me a square neck that's my favorite like neck to be honest i think it looks the best but the back is also open so cute 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 after that i went ahead and got a haircut by my mother if you guys are wondering what haircut i get i usually just get a trim and do soft layers the reason i needed this trim was because i was having so many split ends but also whenever i get my layers redone i feel like my hair just sits prettier and when i curl my hair like the front curtain parts just look cuter so i love getting a haircut it feels really fresh and also i spent the rest of the time just answering emails and then after that i went home and had a really chill day anyways guys that's everything i did today i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog Cadê o psicólogo? Cadê o antropólogo? Cadê o homem da pesquisa? Com a estatística Pra explicar Essa carência mística